Chicago being a great metropolitan area and a wonderful center of culture is home to many outstanding arts organizations that specialize in Baroque music. Bach Week is unique among them, I think, because it's a real festival. It only lasts for a finite period of time, whether that's two weekends, one weekend, a whole week. It's very much a festival in that regard, and that's how it's different from the others. The Bach Week Festival was founded in 1974 by Carl Paukert, who was at the time organist and choir master at St. Luke's Church in Evanston and associate professor of organ at Northwestern. And he founded this festival as a way to bring together his colleagues and friends in the Chicago Symphony to perform the music of Bach with the St. Luke's choirs. And the festival has endured every year since. The music of Bach is as fresh and new and lively and energetic today as it was in the early 1700s. Bach is singularly very difficult and precise, and yet there's an element of emotion as well, that the deeper you get, the more you can just get out of it. I think th there are so many things about singing and, and playing Bach. Um, he's the, the exalted genius, really, of, of all music, that, that every, everyone seems to agree that this particular composer, Johann Sebastian Bach, has a unique voice, and um, there's a wonderful complexity in his music, but also there's a, there's a, a transparency about it that I find um, that goes, goes very deep uh, for performers and for listeners alike. One of the wonderful aspects of the Bach Week Festival is its chorus. But these people come together um, for sheer love of the music of Bach. <laughs> Richard brings a, an incredible enthusiasm, a very deep knowledge of Bach, a deep knowledge of choral singing, choral technique, training a chorus, um, a wonderful sense of how Bach should be performed. I want to say it's an honor to sing in this choir because it's unique and the music that we sing is by far the most sophisticated music that anyone can perform. And we like to program works that are familiar, such as the Brandenburg Concertos. We've done all six Brandenburg Concertos several times. We always program one every season because it brings in the people. But we balance that by programming some of the lesser known works of Bach, particularly the cantatas, because there are a couple of hundred of those that rarely get performed. So we balance the familiar with the unfamiliar and that would include the Brandenburg Concerto No. 5, which is the one for flute, violin, and harpsichord, with the amazing David Schrader. Nobody plays that harpsichord condensa like he does. It's like the, the stage is on fire, and it brings the house down every time. So we are thrilled to have David back with us. Our Bach Week Festival Chorus will be featured in two works. One is a cantata on uh, Christlag and Todesbanden, which is a cantata that Bach wrote for Easter. And because it's also the week following Easter, we're going to do Bach's Easter Oratorio, which rarely gets heard. So we're mixing the familiar with the new, at least new to, the, to most audiences. And then we'll also be doing an unaccompanied cello suite in E flat major with Katinka Klein, a concerto for two harpsichords in C minor. And it's always a treat to see two harpsichords on a stage, uh, being dazzling as only harpsichords can be, and a concerto for three violins. So it's a, a variety of programming that mixes the old and the new. What can I say about Richard Webster? Richard is unique. Even after having known him for years and years, 
As a friend, I look at him as a master of Bach. When he brings uh, his knowledge to a rehearsal, a performance, we are all amazed at the detailing and the beauty that he can bring to our performance. And on top of that, he doesn't realize what he is. He's modest and is right there with us. We have a feeling that we're creating something together and it is a beautiful thing. And we actually love making music together with Richard Webster.